The subject of these tutorials is common finger style patterns, and we're going to be looking at some arpeggiation patterns in the right hand that you can apply to any chord progression. And this comes in really handy if you're writing songs and wanting to put some different uh, rhythmic feels with it, or if you're just reading a chord progression off of a chart and doing some accompaniment, it's good to have a number of patterns in your head that you can just recall at any time and apply um, as you see fit. And so whether you use a real strict classical right hand form where your hand kind of hovers over the strings like this, or if you use more of a folk uh, type of approach where your hand has a little bit flatter of a look, uh, all these patterns should work regardless. Um, some people also, I should mention, will play finger style with just their fingertips, and that sounds just fine, particularly on a steel string. Or a lot of people, as I do, have some longer fingernails on their right hand to attack the strings with. And um, it really doesn't matter with these uh, different shapes. You can use them regardless. So let's start out uh, in this first segment with a very basic uh, finger style uh, technique. And as with most of these patterns, we're going to assign fingers to the strings. So your index fingers on the third string, middle fingers on the second string, and ring fingers on the first string. And then your thumb will be going to whatever bass note that you're on. So we'll look at this pattern. <laughs> So it's a very simple pattern. We start out with the thumb on the bass note, which in this case with a G major chord is going to be on the sixth string. The index finger will then hit on the third string, going to the middle finger on the second string, back to the index finger on the third string, then hitting the ring finger on the first string, and then back to the index on the third string, and then the middle on the second, back to the index on the third. So slowly, And you can also use your thumb, if you're going to do that for more than one measure, you can use your thumb to hit other notes, uh, bass notes out of that chord. So I can play the G and then go to the D, for instance. And then go and hit the B at some point as well. So you can kind of play around with the bass note that way. And then applied to a progression, we're going to use that same pattern and then put the thumb on the bass note of whatever chord we're going to. So in this case, I'll go from a G to a C add 9 to a D and a D sus 4. And we'll look at some more patterns in our next few segments. Hello, my name is Pierre Ventuson. I would like to play for you a tune that I wrote some years ago. It's called The Alchemist. And you are going to see also that in order to get there, you want to bend the ring finger towards the fourth fret. on the third bass string, but I decide to not play that third bass string with my thumb, but with my index. <laughs> 